How's it going, Z fam? That's some amazing graphics. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't seen N64 graphics in a long time. So this is uh, this is actually bringing me back. <laughs> now look, we have a webcam. We're back with the webcam. I know, it's crazy, it's crazy. I don't think anybody really expected this. Actually, I'm gonna put on my open glasses because these lights are bright. There's a light here and there's a light over here. And we have our Z here. I don't know if you guys remember that. New New people probably don't, but older people do. Oh, listen to the music. Dude, look at these graphics though. Hey, it's me. Pog. So I don't really know anything about this game. I'm not gonna lie. I know a bit about it. I know there's a moon. I know you have like 72 hours or something before the world ends. Um, who the heck is... That's a very small outfit that she's wearing. It looks like, like a ramen cup, too. <laughs> I'm kind of just going to watch this, I'll be honest. Oh my gosh, the sprite. The non-3D sprite. Dude, the big treasure chest. Holy crap. This is actually bringing me back. I'm just sitting on the fence. Dude, I haven't... Oh. You know, starting up this Zelda initially, I kind of wasn't super excited about it. But now that I'm seeing these sprites and hearing this music, I'm getting kind of excited. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Oh, Skull Kid. See, I know that. There's some things I know. There's a couple things that I know. Not too much, though. Also, guys, just for your info, okay, so my controller seems to be working. We're playing we're playing on an Xbox controller, so um, it's not a Nintendo 64 controller, so controls might take me a little bit to get used to, right? Okay, so let's be Link this time. Last time we were somewhere, I didn't like that as much. Let's just be Link. Let's be Link, so that way... Dang, what? Ammo Crossing needs to learn from this. Holy cow, this is so much better of a keyboard. <laughs> anyway, um... Last time we were somewhere, I want to be linked this time. All right. Okay, three, mask, zero. I do know that there's masks in this game that you have to, like, collect. There's, like, a line right there. What is that? Emulate. In the land of Hyrule, the echoes of a legend, legend that's something. Sorry, I missed it. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted his ways and finally fulfilled his rogue destiny and took his place among the legends. What friend is this? I think they're talking about Zelda. Zelda. Talking about uh, Link from Ocarina of Time. Oh, yeah, there he is. <gasps> Among the Pona! He's baby Pona, though. Ooh, the two fairies, that's right. <laughs> what was that little nod? I hope that it's not too loud and stuff. We'll work on that as we go along, right? Just fairies. Why would that scare you, Epona? Come on. Come on, Tom. Baby Tom. I can do that. Did that really knock me out? <laughs> Man, look at those graphics. You two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. This guy. Well, it shouldn't be a problem.
kicking me. Oh. So they're just trying to steal my stuff, huh? Ooh, an ocarina. Ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, school kid, let me touch it. I want to see. How did he blow on that through the mask? Can't tell. What would you do if you dropped it and broke it? No way you can't touch it. Aw, oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Oh, I'm fine. I look so drunk. <laughs> this is an old game. Oh, shoot. Wait. Tom, you better not. Tom, stop. Oh, I actually grabbed onto him. Dude, you think Tom would listen to me? Come on. What am I hanging on to? Just Tom's, like, fur? He doesn't have a saddle. Oh, the little things. I remember those. Holy cow, this is bringing me back. So I beat Ocarina of Time. So that's why this is bringing me back hardcore. The shield looks different, though. Oh, the little, like, things that are, like, going around. These guys. Oh, I'm in. Okay, how do I... Okay, that's forward. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so I can't really control the camera. I forgot about that. The only way I can do it is by, um, doing that. Okay, this is gonna take a while to get used to, guys. I'm not joking. Oh, gosh, this is gonna take a long time to get used to. Ooh. Oh, look at, like, the backflips and stuff. Holy crap. Dude, Link got jumps. Let's flip and go. Sorry, just hold forward, Link. In this game, that actually works. What the flip? I landed on a flower. Dang, he's floating. I'm gonna need my ocarina back. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Wait, what? Ah, oh, boo-hoo, why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now, do you really think you could beat me as I am now, fool? What is, what is happening? <laughs> um. <laughs> is he like? It's like he's cursing me. Ah, that's right. Now I remember. I'm a little, uh, whatever those things are called. Got the Deku thing. <laughs> that's a good look for you. Now you'll stay looking like that forever. You look at him laugh as he just goes backwards. Am I really getting beat up by a fairy? Sis! like Tinkerbell noises. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me! I'm still here! Don't leave without me! That's what you get for picking on a little thing. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have got separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Stop staring at me and just open the door for me. Please, come on. A little helpless girl is asking you, so hurry up! Oh, Tao. I wonder if that child will be right on his own. What a weird situation. Oh my gosh, that noise. Oh, cool. 
But I can still attack. Wait, why are these running away from me? So can I do something with these flowers? Dive. Oh, sick. Okay, I gotta get used to that blue is A and green is B. Okay, I gotta get used to that. Alright, I made it. Make like a little line on the ground. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So that, that stuff back there, I, I, I apologize. So take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid who ran off, right? I just so happen to have an idea where they might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good, so that's settled. I'm just like, what? <laughs> now then, I'll be your partner. At least until we catch a skull kid. Name's Tattle. So it's nice to meet you, or whatever. So now that we got all straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? I'll figure something out. Press up on the... I think that's right. On the, the right analog stick. And I'll tell you. Hopefully you managed to get some help. Uh, okay, yeah, I really don't want to talk to... Fair. I remember this. You're based... I'm like, what? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, uh, this Japanese game. All right. Yeah, I already know what to do. I'm a pro. I'm a pro. God, that noise. I remember that noise like the back of my hand. All right. Oh, there's a chest. Dude, we're already gonna get our first chest. Are you kidding me right now? Oh crap, can I actually make that? Oh yeah, I can. A Deku Nut! Flying around to drop a Deku Bomb. Upon impact, it makes a blinding flash freezing enemies in their tracks. Heck yeah! So when I'm flying around, I can like shoot people with that? I think I gotta fly all the way over there. I should be able to make it from here, right? Oh no, I gotta go over here. <laughs> oh yeah, we made it. Okay, so apparently a lot of people really, really, really like this game. Um, I don't know much about it. I, all I know is... Hey you, come on, Prissy, talk to me! There you go, see, you can try it. You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, press Z to look at them and you can talk to them. Targeting people is far away or there's no one to target, press Z to look straight, but enough of that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. Is this the Deku tree? All right, I think this is the Deku tree. It's strange, but the way you look at this, it sort of looks like a tree. It's all dark and gloomy, but it start, could start crying any second now. How sad. Is it the Deku tree? I don't know, I remember at the beginning of, or at the end of uh, Ocarina of Time, you planted a new Deku tree, right? So that might be the, oh my gosh, this is like the forest temple. Wait, why is the camera going that way? This is my tea, by the way. It's delicious. It's green tea. Dang, look at these graphics though. Holy cow. I gotta get used to doing that a lot because that's how you like look around. So sorry if that noise annoys you, but it kind of is like the only way to look around. You know what I mean? You've been met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. But now I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. Oh, I know the way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. My Ocarina. In exchange, all I ask for you is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What, it is not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means be a difficult task. There's like no animation in between him talking. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. 
How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. All right, so three days. Man, what a weird guy. People have told me that this game is pretty dark. Bit, bit, bit weird. Bit like dawn of the first day, 72 hours remaining. The South Clock Town. Oh, I also know this, that the music changes as the days change. Because I know the music from this game is phenomenal, just like Ocarina of Time and most Zelda games, to be honest. But, yeah. He gives me the creeps. That mass salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking out loud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. But don't just stand there. We're going to go see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know where he is. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate, and you'll find the Great Fairy in there. Shrine North Gate. All right. Gotcha. <gasps> it's the doggo! Ow! What the flip? Wait, wait, hang on! Who the... Oh, he doesn't want me to use this thing. This is his. What is he, like a shopkeeper? Oh, nice hat. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. I'm trying to lock onto him. I've already sold out of my wares. The Carmelo has an open gun. I'm thinking of closing up shop but I buy a gift for my wife and return her to the village. So, like, I heard a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you a spot here, deco flower included. Press start, open them, select, and press it with C. Do you have one? No, no, I don't. You don't hurry, I'll give it to the other Deku scrub. So wait, Deku people are just getting along with, like, actual people people? Absolutely guaranteed, we shall guard all your assets. Clock on back. Hey, it's the Bolson Construction Company. Don't you stand there looking at the sky all day? Who's he talking about? Holy cow, this is weird. That guy. The moon? What are you talking about? Oh, the moon! Um. It looks kind of close, guys. What is that noise? Is it this guy? Yeah, it's that guy. Okay, so north gate. Obviously, that thing isn't a compass. So I don't think this is the way. Oh god, I remember this flipping guy. No, flipping dog. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Ooh, a mailbox. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta stop getting distracted. Okay, hopefully the game's not too loud. Let's turn it down just a little bit, just in case. You know, I don't want. I don't want it to be too loud. Okay, there we go. We're doing that. All right, maybe it's this way. I don't. I have no. <laughs> I have no idea. Ooh. West Clock Town. Okay, so this isn't it. This is West. I'm actually literally just gonna go back. I wanna start the, um... Before I really, like, get quests and stuff, I guess, is what they're called. So if that's West, that means that this way might be North. Before I really get quests and stuff and talk to people and... What the flip? I don't wanna talk to you. Um... I kind of want to just, like, continue the story a bit. You know what I mean? Here we go. I found it. So then, uh, then we'll talk to people and do quests and stuff. You know what I mean? <gasps> it's Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell? I mean, uh, what's this guy's name? What's this? Green glows? White flurry? Sir, could you be by chance a forest fairy? Oh, my. Man, why is his face, like, all stretched? My name is Tingle. That's what it is, Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir, a forest fairy. Alas, I am already at age of 35, and no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for as a cheap sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? I have six rupees. 
Hey, I'll take that one. Yippee! Nice, right, sick, I got a map of the town. The red arrow on the map shows where you entered, yellow arrow shows where your current location. <laughs> well, well, call again. Tingle, tingle. <laughs> Kulumlimpa. <laughs> These are the magic words the tingle created himself. Don't steal them. <laughs> All right, sick, we got a map. So, do I have to go this way? Wait a moment, Deku Scrub. Have you some error into the mountains? It's dangerous outside of town walls. I cannot allow a child to go out there alone. Until you are old enough to carry a weapon, you cannot pass without being accompanied by an adult. Okay, so I don't have a weapon. Uh, so where's the fairy? Is she up here? Oh. Yo, this is gonna be something. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Deku Scrub Playground, down this hole. Now hold on, there's a heart piece over there, as you can plainly see. But I don't think I can reach it from here. I need a slingshot to shoot that down, I think. Let's see if we can get this heart piece, though. Hmm. Okay, so it's inverted when I zoom in like this, just like old games. Gosh. So I definitely can't make that jump, huh? Yeah. Alright, I think we were going the right way. So let's keep going. Dude, the music in this game, just phenomenal already. Holy cow. I knew it was going to be good, but like... That's some good music. It's the hole! See, that's what I was talking about in Twilight Princess. These games have, like, full of holes, you know what I mean? There's one in this guy. Yeah. How about it? Will the young one play? One game is 10 rupees. I don't, I don't have 10 rupees. Come again! Okay, so this is like a mini game, huh? So I know what you collect in this game are heart pieces, obviously, like all Zelda games. And uh, masks, apparently. Apparently you gotta collect a lot of masks. There's some masks that you need, and then there's some masks that you don't need. And 100% is to collect them all. Probably like the last game, I'm not gonna be 100%ing this game. But, we'll definitely play it to the best of our ability. So I need a weapon, this guy says. Hmm, I need a weapon, you say. I guess we do have to talk to people then. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, don't mess with Jim. Alright then. Let's go this way. So there's kind of like a little... Hmm. See, this is my camera. This is you guys. Hi, how you doing? And this is my uh, OBS software, so I can see a preview of what I'm actually recording. That's why I kind of look over there a lot, but... Yeah. Mayor's residence. What about you? What do you want? If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Definitely don't know the secret code. Oh, I got it. Jim gives me the secret code. Okay. So I got to shoot down the balloon. Jim will give me the secret code, and then I can go into whatever that is. The Indigos, the Zora band that received the deep sea sound of this famous song. Playing at the carnival time. Carnival of Time. Okay. Bomber Weekly News. Root of Bomber's Notebook. Nobody to master it. To seek out individuals. It did. Bomb column. Blue bars. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff. Okay. What's with you? You're wearing a weird face for a Deku. <laughs> why, why are Dekus and people just like friends in this game? It's interesting. I bet nobody could play with you, right? Adults are busy getting ready for the carnival. The old astronomer at the observatory outside of the town is the only one who will spend any time playing with us kids. We bombers? Oh, they're bombers. That's what these kids are. You have to take a secret route to get to it. Talk to Jim. Yeah, okay. So everybody wants me to shoot down that balloon. Or all the bomber kids do, anyway. What about these guys, the jugglers? Oh, I bet I get a weapon from in here. Treasure chest shop. 
Oh my god, this music. What a cute little customer. So what do you, why are you dancing? Why are you doing that? You think you'd be sick of this music. 10 rupees. I just don't have money. I haven't heard that music forever. It's amazing, though. Can I break this? Oh, I can! Money! Okay, sick. We need to... We need to get as much money as we possibly can. That's another mini game. I'm pretty sure. Shooting gallery. Okay, yeah, I definitely can't do that one. What's this one? A gaming center? Changing daily. What's a gaming center? I don't know if I like the sound of that clock. Oh, so it's like nighttime now. Huh? Let's go inside the oh, night of the first day. 60 hours remain. So there's like day night schedule uh, cycle. Okay. Where the heck do I go from here? <gasps> what the heck is that thing? You. Gosh, this is so hard to learn. All right, it's gonna take a while to learn this, guys. I'm sorry. How do I talk to this guy? You, talk to me. You weird 2D sprite. All right, let's talk to this kid then, I guess. Another bomber kid. Secret route to the observatory, you wanna know about that? Only Jim is supposed to know where the secret route. Okay, so yeah, I gotta shoot down a thing. All right, all right. Every single bomber kid is talking to Jim. It's gotta be this way, right? There you go. doesn't do anything. What about in here? We're just kind of exploring, because I don't really know exactly where I'm supposed to go, so... I want to see if I can break these. Yeah, I can't. Just... Man, that noise is terrifying. Let's go to this one. Oh, it's the jugglers. <laughs> Did you meet the Rosa sisters, our fellow performers in the troupe? They're twins, too! They're twins just like us. Can you believe it? I think they're practicing somewhere in the West Clock Tower right now. The two sets of twins traveling to determine two. What are the chances? I say the chances are about one in a million. No, that makes four in a million. But that's more common. <laughs> Alright then. <gasps> What's that? What is that? It's like a bug. It's 8 30 and we'll be locking the door. Thank you for joining us. Um, so I guess I can't go in there anymore. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be cut. Oh, a heart piece. Clock to the stairs, and then the eve of the cardinal. Fireworks show begin. Okay. So I don't have to ever sleep, right? Like, there's, there's a day-night schedule, but I don't have to sleep. Is that, like, a thing? I don't really know how it all works. Alright, let's see what this stupid, weird and creepy thing is. You who hold the sacred sword leave proof of our encounter. Okay, yeah, the sacred sword. Definitely don't have that. Definitely do not have a sacred sword. It's just looking for a regular sword. Where can I get a regular sword? He wants me to have a weapon. Don't bother us. Don't bother us. <laughs> oh, Nintendo's weird. So this guy won't let me leave without a weapon either. How do you carry a weapon? How do I get a weapon, man? We gotta figure this out. There's so many doors I can go through. This is insane. Swordsman school. Ooh. You, sir. You look am It's a Minecraft cow. This is the training center for the learning of the sacred way of the sword. This is no place for children. But you have a... Minecraft cow there with a very flat face. All right, well, we know where this place is now. I mean, this is just going to be a massive exploration episode, I guess. I don't know how long episodes are going to be. Probably I'll aim for like 30 minutes like I normally do, but. What's going on in here? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, this is the mail room? What, what's going on with this guy? Four, five, six. Yeah. You startled me. Do not disrupt my chaining. In my mind, I am running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at the clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. We try. Sure. Press A to start. Count to 10 seconds. My price moment when you hit 10 on the dot. Press A again. Oh, okay. I got it. See, I want to do it again. I want to try again. Two rupees? Yeah, I'll try again. All right, here we go. <sighs> 10 seconds on the dot. Are you kidding me? All right, here we go. Oh, 10 seconds on the dot, dude. That sounds so tough. That was a close one. Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. You're disrupting my training. Shoo shoo. It looks like this place is about to close. Let's go outside. Why is everyone closing, dude? I don't know what I'm supposed to. Okay. Fine. Let me guess. Talk to Jim. Okay. All right, guys. I think... Before we explore more, because we are actually hitting the 30 minute mark, actually we're a little over. I think we are going to end this episode here. Um, this will be the first episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. <laughs> we started out with a lot of dialogue this episode, a lot of exploration. A bit slower for a first episode, but that's alright, because the longer the game goes on, the more exciting it'll get, I'm sure. Especially when we get like different masks, because I know we can change into certain things, like a Goron and stuff. I remember that from when I'm a kid, which I have a story about that, but that won't, that'll be for another time. So uh, like the video if you enjoyed. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, Z fam.